Hi, my name is Kent. I'm the creator and developer of Gadget, a theme utility for WordPress. In this video, I'll demonstrate for you just how quick and easy it is to completely redesign the look of your site using only the options available in Gadget. What I plan to do is to take this site you see here, this dark grayscale design, and give it a complete makeover, convert it into a bright and vibrant 1960s retro look. And I'll do this without writing a single line of code, without creating additional style sheets. I won't even use an FTP client. I'll leave all that work to Gadget. Before I begin, let me introduce you to some of the page elements that I'll be changing. First, there's the background image. At the top is the header that contains the site name and the tagline. Below the header is the main navigation menu. And below that is the main content area that's divided into two columns with the sidebar on the right. To begin, I just log into my WordPress admin area and I select Gadget Options. Then I select Layout. I choose one column. I select Typography. I'm going to change the overall font style from a serif font to a sans serif font. Then I choose a custom font that I created in Gadget, and I'll apply that custom font to various elements on the page. I'm going to reduce the font size for the tagline to 10 points. I choose color scheme. For the background color, I'm going to make it orange. The wrap color, I'll make white. The header color, I don't need for this new design, so I'll eliminate that. Navigation color, white. Content color, white. Don't need these. And I also don't need this one. The main text color I'm going to make a little darker. Then I want the text color to be consistent throughout the site. So I'll eliminate these. Hyperlink color, I'll make fuchsia. The hover color, I'll make orange. The block quote background color, I'll make green. The block quote font color, I'll make brown. Post month color, I'll make a little darker gray. And the post year color, I'll make a little darker gray as well. The anti-spam background color, I want to match the main content color. So I'll make that white. The anti-spam text color, and the comments text color, I want to match the main text color. Then I go to background images. Now for the body background, I'm going to select a new image that I already uploaded. It's called Funky. It's a JPEG. I'll make it so it doesn't repeat or tile. And I want it to align to the center top of the browser window. I also want it fixed so that way when the page scrolls, it stays in one place. For the wrap background, I'll select an image that I uploaded earlier as well. It's called 60's Girl. It's a JPEG. Make that so it doesn't repeat. And it aligns to the left top. Move to the header. I'm going to put the header on the inside of the wrap. I'm going to shift the site name and the tagline to the right. And then I'll align them vertically a little bit. Navigation, I'll move to the inside and shift that over to the right so it aligns with the site name and the tagline as well. Banner image, I'm going to hide completely. Then I move to opacity, shadows, and curves. I'll remove the opacity on the header, apply it to the main column and the navigation menu. I'm going to remove the drop shadow from the header and I'll apply rounded corners, 10 pixels, to the wrap. Now once I've done all of that, all I have to do is save the changes. And with my changes saved, I simply log back into my website, and there you have it, 1960s Retro. Here's the old design, and here's the new look. And once you're satisfied with the look of your new design, Gadget offers a cool option to archive those settings. 
You just navigate back to the gadget options. And the last option set on the list is called Settings Archives. You open that. Give your new design a name. I'm going to call this 60s. Then I click Archive Your Current Settings. And when I revisit the archive list, there are 60s on the list. Now if I want to go back to the old design, which I had previously archived as Gadget, I select that from the list, reactivate those settings, and there's the old design back. If I want my site to travel back to the 60s, I select 60s from the list, reactivate those settings, and my site travels back to the 60s. You can do that with any number of designs.